Evaporation and condensation. Here's an activity you could do. Make a flow chart to show the different changes of state of matter. Use the words in the box. Gas, solid, liquid, melting, freezing, condensation and evaporation. For each of these changes of state, state whether heating or cooling happens. For melting, heating takes place. For freezing, cooling takes place. For condensation, it's cooling and for evaporation, it's heating. Here is the flowchart. Solid turns into liquid by melting, which is a heating process. Liquid changes into gas by boiling or evaporation, which is also heating. However, the gas changes into liquid, which is condensation, that's cooling. And liquid changes into solid by freezing, which also comes under cooling. The water cycle. The water cycle happens because of two processes. The first one is evaporation and the second is condensation. Melting and freezing can also happen in the water cycle. The rain and snow that you see fall from clouds onto the earth are called precipitation. Sometimes balls of ice which is called hail also falls from the clouds. In the water cycle, water moves from the land and sea to the air and back again to the land. Now here are a few questions. Where does the heat come from and make water evaporate from rivers, lakes and seas? It's from the sun. Where else on the drawing, given here, does the evaporation happen? Evaporation can happen from the surface of the leaves, which is called transpiration. Where does the evaporated water go? The evaporated water forms the clouds. What happens to water vapor when it condenses? The water vapor forms clouds. Where does the evaporated water get back to earth? The evaporated water gets back to earth in the form of rain. Where in the water cycle does freezing happen and melting happen? Both these processes happen in the clouds. The clouds are formed by freezing of water while the rain is the melting of the clouds. Where in the drawing does this happen? You can see the clouds in the picture. Now here is a task for you. Complete these sentences about the water cycle. Use the words in the box to help you. Here is the answer for the previous question. Water on the earth's surface evaporates and moves up in the air as water vapor. The water vapor cools and condenses as it rises into the air. Rain, snow and hail are forms of precipitation that bring water back to the earth's surface. Now here is an important question. Why is the water cycle important to us? The first advantage of the water cycle is that it enables the availability of water for all living organisms. It regulates weather patterns on our planet, distributes water across the different regions, supports ecosystems, biodiversity and maintains the balance of earth systems, plays a significant role in regulating the temperature and climate pattern. You can watch this video on make a model on water cycle which will help you better understand this concept of water cycle. Making a model representing the water cycle. For this you will need a glass bowl, a small dish which will fit inside the bowl, clear plastic wrap and a small stone. Firstly place the dish inside the bowl. 
and then pour some water into the bowl around the dish. The water should be about 1 cm deep. Make sure that there are no splashes of water into the dish. Now put the plastic wrap over the bowl and stick it down. Put a small stone on the plastic. Leave the bowl outside in a warm sunny place for few hours. The setup should look something like this, as shown in the video. These are a few questions in relation to the water cycle model. Describe what you observed in your model after a few hours. The observations could be condensation. The water droplets forming on the cling film or plastic wrap covering your model. This represents the condensation process where water vapor cools and turns back into liquid. Precipitation. Some of these droplets might fall back into the bowl or container, mimicking rain. Evaporation. The water level in the bowl might have decreased slightly indicating that some water has evaporated. Why did this happen? The observations occurred due to the processes involved in the water cycle. Evaporation. The heat from the sun or the heat source causes the water to evaporate, turning it into water vapor. Condensation. As the water vapor rises and cools, it condenses into tiny droplets, forming clouds or in your model, droplets on the cling film. Precipitation. When these droplets become heavy enough, they fall back as precipitation or rain. See how your model shows the different parts and processes in the water cycle. Our water cycle model demonstrates the following parts and processes. Evaporation. The water in the bowl represents the water bodies present on the earth, for example, lakes, rivers, oceans, or seas. When this water heats up, it evaporates turning into water vapor. The second process is condensation. The cling film or plastic wrap acts like the atmosphere. As the water vapor rises and cools down, it condenses into droplets on the cling film. Precipitation. The droplets on the cling film eventually fall back into the bowl, acting as the rain. Collection. The water that falls back into the bowl represents how water collects in the rivers, lakes and oceans.